on lipstick and just when we thought all hope was gone, um, it came together pretty flawless. Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle and guess who's here? Robin! <laughs> and we're gonna have fun with some makeup today because one of our big inspirations, just in like life in general, is Trixie Mattel. Yay! <laughs> Applause for her. Um, and we wanna do a podcast where we talk about Trixie being a part of the doll and toy community, but we can only do that if we have Trixie here in spirit through makeup. So I'm gonna be recreating a everyday Trixie Mattel look on Robin. Now, I've done Trixie looks on myself, but I have no eyebrows, so it's super easy to draw on my face. <laughs> Robin has eyebrows, and, I, and I'm not great at covering them. I'll be very honest, my, I'm not. My eyebrows are a beast on their own. <laughs> They're luscious. They're, They're luscious. luscious. And I don't want to cover them, and I want to do a look that I feel like is bold and Trixie inspired, but not because not everybody obviously is going on a stage so i feel like doing something more wearable would make more sense and that's what we're gonna to try the grocery today. store church you know which we might later yes. so we'll see if we go to the grocery store later that'd be great we should like film you like walking around with a mask on and just big tricksy eyes like <laughs> that'll be a moment so i'm gonna kind of like maybe walk through this a little bit because i have done Trixie tutorials i was lucky enough to actually do a makeup course online through zoom with Trixie, so that's just been like i got i i have learned through that and i will see how i can do with this so i'm gonna start off obviously we're gonna prep prime do all of our basic like skincare stuff which you've already moisturized and i use a combination there is not one brand that i use so if i don't say the exact brand of a particular product i apologize but what i'm gonna do is kind of just go through it and we're just gonna have fun and while we get do our makeup we're gonna talk about Barbie stuff and other doll tea. I feel like doll tea, we're gonna call it doll tea. Is that a new segment? Is that gonna be a new doll show tea. now? Doll tea, like. <laughs> face? So, yeah, just put this all over your face. This is a jelly primer I'm using and that'll just help ooh. the makeup like stick to your face a little bit better. No pressure, <laughs> but like don't bring embarrassment to us or Trixie, okay? <laughs> just, just I like it, cause I was trying to find like I was trying to find like primers that would work better for me um, just because like my skin's so dry and I have such bad, bad skin now. So yeah, that pri the Jelly Primer by Derma Blend is really, I recommend it. And obviously I don't want to use my dirty <laughs> sponge on her, so I'm using it. I get a new sponge, <laughs> a spooky sponge. It's um, an it balloon in the form of a sponge. I'm gonna be honest, that looks just like a Sponge. I know they that's just, why I was like they just put it upside I mean that's genius marketing they literally put it upside down in the thing they're like yeah they're like like beauty blender and it balloon like <laughs> done because it's gonna be a horror show when we're done with all this that's where it's going <laughs> all right so Robin was looking at some of the fashionista Barbies that I have on the table today what were you what were your opinions on this because you haven't really been into Barbie you haven't really been into Barbies recently, have you? No, I don't really know much about the new ones. I know that Family Fashionista is the best selling ones for them, right? One of the better ones, yeah. Like, I'm still surprised that they're doing so well, but you have to think, I, I, I hate to say it, it doesn't cost a lot to make them because there's not much there. There's no articulation. The fashions are pretty simple. So they can, like, pop them out left and right and make they're a like lot of money. They're, like, under $10, right? Um, $8 at Walmart and then 10 at, um... Everwell's. Everwell's, pretty okay. much. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I have a few fashionistas from before. There's like one, one or two that I have. I know at least one I can name off the top of my head that I still have. But that's the very like Barbie looking one. The oh, like the I hate, the one, when, I hate when I say basic Barbie, but she basically she is basic, the basic, yes. yeah, the basic Barbie. She looks to me like a '90s Barbie, if that makes sense. I know what you mean, like yeah. the blue eyed, blonde hair, mm -hmm. the very like norm normal esque one, you know. Do not open your eyes. I do not want black all over your lid. Right now you look like you're a bug, but that's okay. I know, yeah. We're drawing little feelers on your eyes. How do you draw them on someone else's face? Symmetrical, this is so difficult. I'm like doing like epic dance moves. No, lashes that I have. Honestly, from far away, it doesn't look that bad. All right, we're gonna go in with, we have to have Alyssa palette here today because we have to do a little Alyssa, like Alyssa moment. And I think I'm gonna do pink. Like I was gonna do blue, like from this one Trixie picture I'm looking at, but I think I wanna do the pink one though. I'm gonna go in with Texas Made and it's like super bright pink. So what's something you wanna see from Barbie that you feel like you haven't been seeing? That you're like, okay, Barbie, you step this up. What is? What are you doing? Let's make this happen. I would say I would want to see I, get, I know they have premium, they have fashion packs, they have like the budget line, they have 
collector's barbers that I don't really know anything about, but I don't know, I feel like the middle ground is miss lacking. Did you like the BMR dolls? Cause that was a video I did recently and I know a lot of people had a lot of opinions on those. So I'm not really sure what those are, I'm gonna be honest. We gotta educate Robin on BMR dolls. Well, they're basically made to move bodies, uh -huh. but they were charging $30 because they came with higher end fashions and stands. Oh yes, um, none of the one pictures I saw I uh, was wowed by. Ooh, I love this vibe. Show them the color. I love this pink. I don't, I can't open my eyes. Yeah, you can. I need to get my fan and you start fanning you. What's something that you want to see more of since you are immersed More made this? to move stuff for sure. Like that's something I really, 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 really like. I love made to move stuff. Like I feel like there needs to be, like you said, a middle ground where I thought the BMRs were great. I'm sad that they decided not to do more with the BMR line. And the rumor is that they are discontinuing after only two waves. Which makes me sad. Because so, what does BMR stand for again? Uh, I don't Barbie. Know. Barbie, I'm assuming. That's like her name, isn't it? Bar Barbie Miss. <laughs> Hello, my brain just died. And then it's, it's Barbie uh, BMR 1959. So, I think uh, it's like homage to that, you know? You know what? I don't think I saw. I'm thinking of something else. Was it like the old Barbie fashions? No, no, oh. they're like all modern, like 90s kind of inspired oh. looking things. Yeah, so I'll show you some. So what about, okay, moving the Barbie extras. Like, mm -hmm. I like the idea of them, but I kind of wish, I get why they made them. And I think they did a good job in the sense, but I wish they would not try to be like other doll lines because the doll lines are doing better. I wish they would really focus on something unique to Barbie. Yeah, I agree. I feel like they just, I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> like, I don't hate them, but I only got one that I purchased and I don't plan on getting any more of them. So unless they're gifted to me, which I doubt it, um, well, I'm I not think, gonna get it. I any. mean, I will say like, I think the fashionistas are something kind of that like Barbie is doing well because it's like a unique thing. Yeah, oh, I agree. I feel like it's their thing. Like, I feel like yeah. no one else is doing fashionistas. No one else is doing the diversity that you see in that line mm -hmm. versus some of the other ones where you're like, okay, there isn't enough yeah. ones with curly hair or textured hair or different things like that. So, do you want to look in the, I was going to the monitor. Can I open my Yeah, eyes? yeah, it should be dry enough to like. <laughs> I honestly can't see. Oh, I got some underneath you. You know what? This will be all fixed. It'll be all fixed. It's so. <laughs> It's got it's coming together. It's coming together. I promise <laughs> There's just a lot of liner <laughs> You're like I'm not going out ever again. <laughs> well any chance of It's just it's easier with no brows because then I can make the eyes this big But no like honestly from a wearable look if I would do a bigger lash on you like it just looks like you have a lot of black and a big wing. Like it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, so we're, we're, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere with this. Oh, are you doing her finale look? Well, I don't know. I was looking at that, but then I decided to do pink instead of blue because she did blue. Oh, okay. I see, I see. So now I'm like, oh, we're just going to do, and you might not be the right shade because I'm using Derma Blend Foundation and I use a very tan shade. So I will be mixing it with Tarte Shape Tape and a bunch of other stuff a bunch of other colors in there too All and I'm right. gonna use a little bit of like the color corrector just to kind of take a little bit of your redness away which this is a lifesaver side note for anybody who has redness on their face like I look like a zombie before I put my foundation on <laughs> okay explain hmm. how color I feel like I can do basic makeup all right but like I never understood like how to I really don't know much let me be honest let me confess here let me put Barbie outside so I feel like I can get away with doing the makeup, like getting by because like I use BB cream and I really use foundation and, mm -hmm. but I feel like it doesn't cover like how you could look like two different people before and after. I just, well, I have wear a lot. And I think that's the thing too, is like when you see all these people and they're like everyday look and it's like they it's have a lot, it's a lot. Like I use, um, I mean, <laughs> controversy here. I use like the Jeffree color corrector. I use the Nikita, um, the dragon beauty, lavender which brightens and I use that underneath my eye so I do all that first and then I well before that I obviously use moisturizer primer and then I layer on the foundation and then I do concealer contour so there's so many layers and I use a lot of foundation which I used to not use a lot and then Claudina was like whoa you're not using enough <laughs> like what are you doing and then I watched like her do her makeup and it's literally like this thick and it looks good though like it looks 
you wouldn't realize it, that there's that much makeup on there. Mm. And then after you're doing it, you're like, wow, I should have used 10 more pounds of makeup on. So that's why I put a lot on. Like, <laughs> when you see those people and they're like doing those TikToks and they're like tons of makeup on, like all that liquid. So they're using that. How are you, like, you're not blending it until it's not green anymore, right? You're just blending it. No, you're, this... you're greenish. You have a greenish okay. tone. Because you have to think, like, it comes to, like, the color wheel and stuff. So, like, let's say you have, you're you red, you put green over it, right. it neutralizes it. So you look like a zombie right now. This is not cute. And then the foundation <laughs> makes it look, okay. Mm -hmm. like... And then the foundation over it kind of seals in that color a little bit. Like, there's probably more scientific re purposes so than you I'm know what it. Robin is not watching on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> not watching beauty guru people anymore, you know, which I feel like was so big a couple years ago and now we're just like you know I learned away what that. I could from Michelle Fawn back in the day and then after she just I, I didn't really connect like like I connected with Michelle yeah this foundation is not your shade but in Trixie because I watched one of her makeup videos actually this morning when I was getting ready her makeup was dark but with the wig with everything else you know we're gonna throw some I got some pink stuff we can throw around we're gonna make this work we're gonna make this work is that on the tortilla chip Yes, it's like I that went like to the, ripped your face. It did. Like it's actually like like when I pop it open. Yeah. yeah, like I just went to go eat a chip, and the chip went in my mouth, and it sliced. I felt it slicing the side. It was like a paper cut, and I was like, ah, and it bled into everything. And I'm like, I'm never eating tortilla chips again. Like, see, it's so this is dangerous. Uh, yes, that's what I think it was, and I didn't like even feel like, star. like I was like, what am I doing? Like, so. This is random. I know we're talking about Trixie, but since we have her palette and her mirror, like, I think Alyssa Edwards is a living Barbie doll. I love Alyssa Edwards. Comment if you love Alyssa. Sorry, no everyone's just saying, this is, oh, my shirt Barbie. See, we're here representing. Mm -hmm. I love Alyssa. I feel like she's such a good marketing person and, like, just knows her brand and knows herself and... Just as, I don't know, I've just... I feel like even though she's been on the show twice and she didn't win either time, but she's won it all, you know? She's oh, yeah. All. Well, you got to think, like, from that, she's had Netflix TV shows, makeup brand collaborations, like, just, like, so much stuff. Like, so much stuff in a good way. Yeah. And, like, there was, I think it was a pit stop that Trixie was doing with her about a Canadian episode. And just the when she was talking about, like, that, pre that pep talk, like, when she puts her makeup on, I'm like, mm-hmm, yes, mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, I'm doing this. I am doing this. I am the greatest. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. Like, I watch a lot of Trixie videos when I'm getting ready or just like other stuff. And you just get that empowerment mm -hmm. around you of like the makeup makes you, you know, superhero. Like, this foundation does not look that bad because you are so much tanner here <laughs> than you are on your face. Like, in a good way, though. Like, it like looks, it looks good. It looks good. The lighting is so bright, it's blinding us all. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I think everyone uses uh tart shape tape for concealer i feel like it's just such a good go-to one to use i'm gonna do the concealer and contouring first and then i'm gonna go in and do the under eye which is not how trixie does her makeup but i'm trying i'm trying we're strained <laughs> you know what's funny i know you said you really like the holiday barbie and what makes me sad is like we never i never saw it go on clearance what happened did everyone just buy all the holiday barbies yeah because i was thinking i was like oh man if they were on clearance like really cheap i was gonna buy you one or something I felt, you know? well you know what? i felt like this year's one was really good compared to like because she was wearing she was wearing gold she was wearing red because i feel like the last few years she's wearing red which is not bad but like it was almost like the same dress yeah slightly like different she's in the same pose and i feel like this one um because normally they have like they have a the traditional Barbie, they have a uh, African American Barbie, and then they have like a Hispanic looking one. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt like the Hispanic one was like stunning, stunning. I mean, they're all stunning, but I feel I like tend to lean towards the Hispanic ones. I feel like the their that skin tone looks really well, works mm -hmm. really well with but like the I red and the gold. This and year, like that. all three of them looked amazing, and I mm -hmm. think that's why they sold better. Yeah, I can agree with that. Because A, she was in a different outfit, and then they just all looked great. Look up me. Um, so I feel like Barbies, early Barbies, or like even when we were kids, the, the dark-skinned Barbie was literally just Barbie they made black. 
Yeah, well, that was a big thing with like the face molds and stuff. Like they yeah. they just take the same face mold and make every skin tone. Well, every skin tone doesn't always resonate well with a particular right. face molding. So like I, I always thought that was weird too. I feel. I mean, I know they haven't done that in the Holly Barbies for a while, but like I felt this year was the best. Each one looked distinctly different. If that makes sense. I can see that. Yeah. What the black spot that I messed up on on that eye. I like the bottom lashes though. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm never getting out of the house with you like this. Uh, my dating profile. I know. Hey, that is respect to some guys like, oh, you like Trixie? I'd be like, win in my book. Or, Would they want to be dating me? <laughs> <laughs> Would they want to? I don't know. Would they be interested in that? <laughs> Maybe. What is that? Eye brightener. Like it's a brightening, it's the, the Dragon Beauty brightening powers. <laughs> it just turns into a giant makeup ad. You can sponsor us if you want. Oh yeah, I'll be sponsored by any makeup brand, please. I spend so much money on cosmetics. Like when they say like, hey, what survives an apocalypse or whatever? Like what is it, an economy crashing? It's alcohol and makeup. I'm Lipstick. literally doing all, well not now because the mask. Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> I know, it's so sad. I'm using the Tarte, Tartist by Tarte for contour and giving her a cut. Now like Trixie has a very defined cheekbone. I am not that great at doing defined cheekbones. So I'm gonna just try to do it as dark as possible and hopefully it'll work. So let's see. <laughs> it literally looks like there's mud on your face, but that's okay. <laughs> you know what show I wish they would bring back? The hmm. web stuff. The Barbie Life in the Dream House. Oh I missed I thought that, that was one show. of the best things Barbie ever produced. I feel like that was one of their best shows. Like, I don't watch the new one. I guess there's like a new Barbie show that people watch and I haven't been watching it. Has anybody out there been watching it? Have you watched any of the new one? No, I didn't even know it existed till this moment. Yeah, there's like some other episodes and stuff. I, like I said, have not been watching it, so. Question, this is random, hmm. but am I the only one that Netflix gave up on? Because what do you mean? now they don't ask me if I'm still watching something. Just, they don't say that to me anymore now, too. It's been a while, so I'm like, did you just, you don't care anymore? <laughs> Do you think that they stopped asking because of, so like, the pandemic, everyone's just watching Netflix, so they're like, oh, yeah, everyone's just watching consistently, so we're just gonna, Maybe. like, keep running? I mean, it was a while into it, so that's why I was like, hmm. Is this a newer? No, so, obviously, Kat Von D's no longer really I mean, she's still a brand, but it's owned by the company that she was already partnered with. So but I got this for like three dollars. It's like the Al Alchemist highlighter, I believe it's called. It's just, I just like how tiny it is. I like how like really it's very shimmery. So I feel like Trixie has a lot like a super over the top contour and blush. So I'm going in with the Anastasia like three. I think it's the trio. Yeah, blush trio. I was right. Cocktail party, and it's like super super pink. Like that's really pink. Basically, your blush and your eyeshadow are gonna match. <laughs> the Jeffrey like setting like... powder. Oh, I forgot to set powder. You, uh, we're gonna set a powder her afterwards because I messed up. <laughs> this doesn't really have a smell. Oh, this smells like candy. I've had, I had that one. Oh, you do? I'll we'll probably have the that translucent one. one. Yeah, we'll probably, this one's the fair one. I'll mm -hmm. probably put that or the Becca. The Becca one's like my favorite because it feels like water. Shape tape has a smell, but it's, it's like a nice smell. Yeah, it's very pleasant. Yeah. Like, I have to be careful with certain, like, ones that have fragrant because of my face, but if anyone recommends good, like, makeup for people with really sensitive skin, me, let me know. The the Smashbox one has a similar smell to the first one. It kind of does, yeah. yeah that chemical just, smell. Okay. <laughs> this is just a smelling video. Oh, you know what? We can talk about the packaging for the fashion. Yeah, case. how do you feel about that? I love it, because... It's not, I mean, it's still plasticky, but it's not like the, like over the top, disposable like plastic. I mean, I guess you could throw this away, but I feel like you could, this could function. I like, yes, that's how I like felt. You could put of, your doll back in it. You could put clothes, you could put pencils. Storage. Storage, like it has multi-use. Um, so it's not like- And when you take the cardboard out, look, it just says Barbie on it. Hmm. So it's just like a cute bag. And then the fashion pack ones, literally are just oh like that God. too. So when you take the clothes out, you have a Barbie package See? and you can put makeup brushes in it. Yeah, like I like that move. I like that move because, you know. I just like, because yeah. I recently did, today, earlier today, because I'm wearing the same shirt, um, did a Barbie Fashion Nisa video. And one thing that I brought up was that they didn't raise the price up on them. <gasps> and I was worried about that. I was like, oh wait, we're getting more stuff. Then they're going to charge us more, right? And they didn't, they didn't. They just literally. Now does she come, 
when the doll comes in, is she like attached to like a cardboard insert or she just a thin plastic? Okay. And that was it. So it wasn't so it wasn't too much. It wasn't too much. I actually like that. So I right, good move, Barbie. Yeah, I was really happy with it. I was like, oh, I love that. Reusable stuff. We love reusable stuff. And I suck at contouring your nose. If they have recommendations on contouring noses, let me know. So we'll see how this turns out today, but <laughs> watch it be the best contoured nose I've ever done. <laughs> Oh, you look so cute. I love the glittery nose. I need to put some setting powder on you because I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, your contoured nose doesn't look that bad. <laughs> if they could make a doll of anyone, who would you want? Trixie. Okay. <laughs> well, yes. Um, uh, of anybody, like from anywhere? Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to get a doll from somewhere, where, where do you think? Like, what would you want? I would want a Trixie doll. I think that would Oh, be I awesome. would definitely want a Trixie doll. And I think that the fact that Mattel hasn't made a Trixie doll is a shame. I feel like you know, her name is in it. I understand why. Do you think Integrity Dolls would do it because they've done RuPaul dolls? Okay. Maybe. 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 Yeah. Maybe. Like a whole drag race line of dolls. Ooh, I just want Alyssa Edwards doll. <gasps> I feel like she would look fabulous. She'd just have like a big wig with that. <laughs> and make it a talking doll. She'll just all, she'll be like, oh, like all the same. Ooh, an MB Peru. I'd want an Elvira doll circle doll. I know, they need to make one. Come on, doll brands, partner up with me. <laughs> we need our own 3D printer. And then we can print one, I think. Let's, oh, all right, nice. we're getting in the doll line business. <laughs> I have, yeah, only one side images, like. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, yeah, we're only doing the side. This whole side of my, like, the whole side of my face looks. Darker? Not, not I darker. think it's the lighting. Here, turn the other way in and look at the lighting. Probably because the lighting was coming in this way and I was just doing yeah, that. Yeah, so this, like, it doesn't look darker. It just looks like lower. So it might be just my, my natural face <laughs> is lower. So like, am I having like that? Was it a stroke? Are you having a maybe stroke? Maybe that bell's popping. Yeah, or maybe the contouring went higher and looked straight at me this way. Trixie actually in her last video says that she uses the Lights Camera Lashes Tarte oh. Mascara. So highly recommended for multiple people, even me myself. I bought it because it's a vegan mascara and I was like, I really like that. Well, so it's good enough for Trixie. It's good enough for us. Let me get lashes and lipstick. <laughs> Add a contour, use a Barbie cardboard. <laughs> right there, do you think it's the same? Oh yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> We're making it work. We're making it work. Oh, hold on. This one got to blend out a little bit. Oh my god, I love the cardboard. <laughs> uh, so now this is just turning into a big mess of makeup. I love it. I feel like when you put lashes and lipstick together, it looks so good. Yeah, I made it worse. <laughs> I know. I'm like, no, now you're too dark underneath here. I gotta light you up. Hold on. Sometimes. More is good, but not all of it. Hold on, let's try this. Here, I, what I do is I take a couple drops of concealer, which I know is not how you fix this, and I just gotta do like this. <laughs> all right, let's put a wig on or something. Yeah, I feel like the wig would put all like it. All right, so let's get a wig on, but like, look at this like moment. Look at this <laughs> drag queen who I love this. Oh, we need to get a drag name for you. What would your drag name be? I don't know. We'll come back with a wig on and figure that out. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're back. Lashes are on, wigs on, lipstick, and just when we thought all hope was gone, um, it came together pretty flawlessly. Hello, look at this, loving that. Let's get some, some close-ups here. Like, you look so flawless. How do you feel? Do you feel confident in your I new Trixie-inspired look? I feel amazing. I feel... Like I could just go assassinate. I know, I'm loving this. I feel like we've made Trixie and Alyssa proud because we'd use the Alyssa palette to do a Trixie look. You look so good, like you almost like, I don't know, you look way more snatched. Like your face looks so snatched. I think it's the nose contour. See, right when I was like, oh, I can't do nose contours. You were looking so stunning. Look at this, like I'll work it. Okay, so what's your, we need to come up with a drag name. So I think that's what we're gonna leave to the viewers today is what would her drag name be? What would Robin's drag name? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know, throw in the comments below what you would want Robin to have as a drag name. This is videos all over the place. Obviously we were just like talking about doing makeup, which evidently we learned we need to practice a lot more than we thought because it was very difficult. But I think you look great though. I love Thank the you. contouring and the nose contour looks good. And then like, I never would think I would like you as a blonde, but I love it. Me too. Like you look so good. <laughs>
<laughs> so maybe we will go to the grocery store later. Like, I could just see, like, mask and full snatched eyes like this. Coming for a new husband. I know. <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait. We need one more thing. Ah, oh, yes. I love this. Oh. They need, I'm, we, need, we need to be on a competition or something. I think we would be so funny. <laughs> you look so great. All right, so we'll be doing our podcast next. And if you want, definitely, I would recommend checking out our podcast with the links in the description below. We're also going to be doing the video version for our patrons on Patreon. Uh, comment, what do you think of Robin's new look? And what would her drag name be? That would be another thing too. And thank you, Trixie, for letting us. <laughs> the video is just... <laughs> I mean, thank you for Tracy for inspiring us. I feel like she's a great doll collector, and that's what we're going to be talking about in our podcast. So we will go over there and hear more about Trixie and makeup and Barbie and all things fabulous. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>